What's up, Solo Sportsters? If this is your first time here, welcome. We are Solo Sports, a team dedicated to reviewing all that is tennis, platform, and more. If you've been here before, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the new Dunlop FX 500 Tour. We're gonna break it down spec by spec, how it plays, is it the racket for you? So stay tuned. The Dunlop 500 FX Tour 2023 has a 98 square inch head size, an unstrung weight of 305 grams, which equates to 10.8 ounces, and a swing weight of 320, putting the balance point at 12.5 inches, making it six points head light on this standard 27 inch racket with a variable beam of 21 by 23 by 21 millimeters. It has a standard string pattern of 16 mains and 19 crosses with a medium stiffness of 66. It comes with the Dunlop Viper Dry Grip and it is in a matte blue and black cosmetic. The Dunlop FX 500 Tour was surprisingly a dream to use on court. From baseline, all shots were simple and within reach. The racket provides the ideal balance of power and control. The power originates from the Sonic Core, Power Boost, and Power Grid Tech all packed into this frame. The Sonic Core, which is a technology licensed by Infinergy, is located at 2 and 10 o'clock on the racket. It is an incredibly lightweight and elastic material, offering a punch and rebound material with shock dampening properties as well. The outcome was a crisp and smooth response with heaps of power. The power boost is a system integrated into the grommets with a wider and deeper groove engineered to create more pullback on the strings for added power. Finally is the power grid, which is the redesign of the string bed spacing it with even more distribution. The result is a larger sweet spot paired with enhanced power and spin. Hitting with this racket, I instantly felt comfortable. I would argue that it's Dunlop's best racket geared for just about any player. The technology added power and pop to just about every shot. The open string pattern provided a great deal of spin generation and ball flight action. The smaller 98 square inch head tamed all of my shots with control while having added racket head speed and stability. Often with power rackets, you get a muted hollow response, but the Dunlop FX 500 Tour packed all of these benefits with touch and feel as well. Normally with a power setup, players don't slice much as they favor that smash and bash tempo, but the slice was smooth and wonderful. Shots floated deep to change pace and had extra bite. The range of this racket is formidable, having power, control, spin, and more from all areas of the court. There is a long list of rackets that provide baseline power while lacking net performance. That is certainly not the case for this racket. The comfort at baseline is matched at net as well. Volleys like the ground strokes had power under control. I could place the ball just about anywhere I wanted on court, except with this racket versus others, I had more power and consistency. Spin and drop shots were more prominent as well.
Match play and point play was an absolute blast with this racket. There was no shot I couldn't hit or add to my arsenal. I felt in control dictating play from all areas of the court. When I wanted to swing out, I got bonus power. When I wanted to hit heavy spin, the ball created extra drop. And when I wanted to add control to my shots or flatten them, it was easy peasy. Accordingly, the ideal player for this racket is just about any all-court player rated 4.0 or higher with just about any grip style and both one or two-handed backhands work well. If you have shot variety, like to work the whole court, and have a wide skill set, then this racket will reward you. Similar rackets include the Wilson Clash 98, Head Boom Pro, Selenko Whiteout 305, Technifiber T-Fight 305, and the Babolat Pure Drive VS, which is nearly spec for spec the same as this racket, and both impressed me completely in their playtests. This racket could be your next weapon of choice if you seek a racket enhancing a full spectrum of shots. Hope you liked our review on the Dunlop 500 FX Tour. We're gonna to be showing you some more videos soon about other rackets that you might be considering. But if there's too many rackets and you're unsure where to start, comment below, we'll help you out on your journey and we'll help you get the best equipment for you.